Yo, what up? Uh, this is AG. I'm going to do a quick track breakdown of my song Good For Me with Extract and Matt Diana for the MNG YouTube channel. Um, just going to get right into it, I suppose. Um, let's just play the build to drop just to, you know, if you haven't heard it, this is it. Let's just get into it. Um, so first off, the drums, pretty much the same stuff I've been using on the past songs in, on MNG that I've released. Um, this really sweet kick I have, um, it's just super punchy and cuts right through all anything in the mix with the with the nice side chain. Um, it's super nice, super low. It really thumps. Um, the snare I've been using is just a combination of three separate snares. One of them is a virtual riot one because it sounds fucking awesome. Especially in the mix, it just like snaps right through. Um, this Samplifier one with a nice resonance um, just because it like also snaps, but it's a lot wider and deeper than the uh, virtual riot one. And then the um, this Grave snare, which I'm kind of weird about using, but whatever, um, has a nice echo and you know, reverb trail. So it really like captures this whole like vibe going with us. So that's all three together. And they just kind of like really smack through and then kind of, you know, give a nice resonance at the end. Um, let's keep going. My drum rack is usually the same. I have a couple, I have a transient shaper on something. Um, maybe not on this one, but I usually have a transient shaper on the kick and the snare and kind of clip those a little bit just to, you know, because the drums seem to be, especially in dubstep, pretty, pretty loud. Um, so yeah. Let's keep going. I have this sweet ride symbol that I found on Splice. Um, just a little bit of EQ on it. Um, really like also with the drums. The drums are pretty, um, you know, repetitive and stable in their in their rhythm. So this kind of accents that in the back. Um, so yeah, let's keep going. What else? What else? Um, this cool company um, hi hat thing. It's a little faster, but it you know cuts through the the empty parts of the um, ride symbol. So that's nice. A couple risers, white noise, the huge. Um, this reverb kicks from Cashmere. Nice transition elements from like, say, you, you're coming from like the intro or the beat into the break or something. You have to have like these nice um, transition elements that kind of, you know, let everybody know that this is where the this is where the next part is going. Like, oh, it's gonna be a break or something. It's it's not just like super sudden. So like. <laughs> yeah cool so that's pretty much the drum rack um you know some sub impacts on the sub rack um what else do i got i don't even know yeah this is the this is the breakdown bass line um not a lot of stuff on there just you know turn the bass mono um, saturator to give it a little warmth. Actually, that's not even in mono. Wow, I suck. Should have been. <laughs> um, yep, yeah. and then what else? What else? What else? Right, right, right. So, on the drop on the sub um, rack, we have this sweet um, serum sub. It's nice and hefty for like the up, the up swings on the notes. So, like, um, for example, the main hit. Every one in, I think it's just the one, um, this big like 808 monster sub hits. So it sounds like this, right? And then on the accents, on the upswings right here, there's this sub. Cause the higher note with this 808 sounded super jank. So I had it kind of together like this. So it like kind of moves with the song and it doesn't really like, stay the same timbre, I guess, for these two subs. Um, so kind of hearing them in the mix. I wanted the 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 higher um, note on the actual synth to come through and not be muddied by this giant 808. So that's why I did that. 
Um, yeah, so that's a sub. I don't really put a lot on my sub. I kind of just lower the the um, volume on them just so they don't like, you know, crap the shit out of all of it. And then I um, just kind of, you know, a little bit of saturation, obviously some EQ, mono, and that's about it. Um, sometimes some, some um, compression and like some bit crushing sometimes on these like higher things, but I don't think I even use this part because I usually like layer the sub with this like crispy, like that sounds awful, but normally it sounds good. But yeah, okay, continuing. So this is my the bass bus where all of like the bass sounds are. Um, let's see what else. Let's just play that by itself. This is the drop, I believe. So it's really not that much stuff. It's um, a bunch of these serum patches that. Um, couple of them are layered but mainly this main like drop synth i have is just like so clean and like or is it is it this one or is it this one that one it's just i mean it doesn't sound that clean but um it really cut through the mix and like really like because this part needed like a big you know like moment because these vocals are so intense and they kind of build up th through the entire song this is a more intense thing Cause at the beginning they're like kind of chill and like, you know, a rock song, but then it like slowly turns over to this like metal dubstep. So I needed to like find something that sounded like it was just like this huge thing. So that was these two synths, I guess together. Um, it just like really cut through. Um, this is the synth, and then below it is one of these. Also crunchy, it's like, Really, really big. guy here. This guy. All oh, right, yeah. So these are like the off notes that are like you know the more melodic part because like there's the the down beats are like the heavy guttural sounds and then the up beats are like you know the more note focused melodic focused part. It's just basically patches, um, stuff, but um, yeah, a lot of just like you know, laying, like, making a nice flow with these, um, and then, you know, keeping those, like, accents to, like, you know, transition the, the flow into the next section. Um, yeah, more of that. Just to stay um, so, this is all the dubstep parts, so let's get into that, too. But basically, this song kind of switches from this, like, melodic, you know, metal banger i guess to just straight dubstep so this is the switch so i'll start it from here <laughs> switches to that um so that kind of like again these accents that that tell you something else is happening like it's not just like it's like oh these like chops are coming in and like another metal scream and this like nice little sweep up oh something's gonna happen um and these are like um i believe these are from a kill feed pack from a little bit ago um but they're super clean and they cut right through so listen to these, like absolute destruction. I think there's another one. Oh no, that's the guitar, we'll get to that. Um, yeah, that, so those little like clocky things. And then I believe, yeah, we have these like effing, um, I think they're just like, I don't know, this synth backflip, whatever that means, but they sound amazing. Like they're just like nice sub hits that are just like punchy. So they that along with that kill feed sample and I believe this Sullivan King like um live drum. Yeah, this live snare. Oh man. And then obviously this nice little um build up thing that kind of just like guides this sound into this next portion. Um so yeah, sticking with the Monster 808 on this part, because it's mean dubstep. 
more mean, like guttural synth patches with these like nice accents down here. Um, yep, yeah, and then I keep the kill feed thing, but I think I've, there's a, nope, did I pitch them up, down? Yeah, so these are pitched up and these are just normally. That's that part. Yep, yeah, just keep the, it's just like, the, not, the cool thing about the song is like, it's not a lot of stuff going on. But it takes the same sounds and kind of changes, you know, the rhythm, the the pitching, the just to kind of the I frequency shift a lot of stuff. Um, shout out frequency shifter, that thing has saved my life. Um, um, yeah, okay. So this is where we're getting into the guitar part. Um, so my buddy Extract, his name's Justin, good friend of mine, um, known him forever. So he is also a producer, and he played the guitar on this one, and it, I, he absolutely shredded it. So this is his portion on the song. So this is all him. He recorded it right over there. Um, let's get it. second part that goes into the build. And so when that's building up, it just like goes wild. Right, and then he also did this part right here. That nice little like end note. Oh, perfect. Um, and then throughout the the drop, when it comes back from the just dubstep, it comes in with this guy, which is pretty sweet. I think that's one. No, yeah, it's this one. This is the real one. It's so nice. So in the mix, it sounds like this. I think it does it again right here. Yeah, so that's pretty much it on the guitar parts. And then the vocals. So yeah, Matt, this dude's name is Matt Diana. I believe he's from Arizona. Um, I've never met him in person, but um, my manager said he was amazing. So I looked him up, it was amazing. Just sent him a DM and yeah, that's pretty much it. Worked pretty, pretty easily. Um, so these are the vocals by themselves. Misled, putting our mouths up to the hands of the government. Filling our minds, our bodies, our souls with discouragement. Isn't it enough already that we choose so to drink the poison? He's got a very good voice. So um, as far as po processing on the vocals, it's pretty standard. Um, just EQ8. I got this lead vocal sauce, um, like rack thing. That's fantastic. Um, it, it takes all the like problems out of post processing some vocals, and it makes it sound pretty, pretty close to done. Just throwing it on there. I mean, you do have to do a little bit of you know finagling, but it sounds pretty, pretty close once you throw it on. Um, a little bit of glue compression, um, utility to you know boost a tiny bit, and then this Valhalla Supermassive, I believe. Yeah. Um, obviously this is their free like plugin they put out. Um, it's pretty good. It's a nice like delay on it. I think that's why I used it. Um, and that's really it on that because it was such good vocals that I didn't really need to do much. Um, what else? The screams, I think. Where are the screams? Is that of the man? Yeah. Is that Fantastic of the man? Like, so good. It's the same, same one. I think this one's just like Kilo Hearts reverb on there. Nothing too crazy. Some OTT. Um, and yeah, that's, I mean, 
that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I mean, a pretty standard track. I'm really happy with it. Probably one of my favorite tracks I've ever made. Um, haven't played it live yet. Waiting for shows. So, um, cool. Is there anything else I can show? Probably not. No. All right, cool. Um, yeah, thank you. That was my song, Good For Me. Go listen to it. Um, I'm sure there's a link down below or whatever. So thanks, bye.